Hey guys, welcome to Body Machine. This is the Millionaire Blog. I'm going to be talking about mercy today. One of the things people talk about when they consider someone as an idol, someone who is great, is the properties they've accumulated and the wealth they have around them. Yeah, people don't take their time to study what this person is doing, who this person really is. And so today, we are going to be digging deep into mercy learning some few tips from him to make our lives, you know, to make us that we can add to our daily living to get us to be in a millionaire. Let me give you this nugget. Mayweather once says this. He said, I make it the money. The money doesn't make me. So, for you to be able to make more money, you need to make yourself first. You need to realize yourself. Let's start from the very first thing I'm going to talk about mercy. La primera vez que lo hiciste lo hiciste por por tu abuela, ¿no? La que te llevaba uh -huh. Celia, uh -huh. la que te llevaba la mano, qué sé yo. Y cada vez que lo haces, la, le, aunque sea por una décima de segundo, la tenés presente a Celia. Sí, sí, que sobre todo en ese momento, ¿no? Que que lo recuerdo, lo recuerdo a ella y y no solo a ella, también el agradecimiento a, a Dios por todo lo que lo que me dio no solo en lo, en lo futbolístico sino en, en la vida también soy una, un agradecido a él pero obviamente que sí que, que la recuerdo en ese momento también. Messi has been a footballer for the past two decades and this is the first thing. Messi appreciates and understands his talents. Yes, everyone got talent inside of them. Some were given one, two, and five. But Messi understand that he was given this talent and appreciated every single moment. Most of the time we think that the appreciation, the, the raising of the two hands after a goal score is to show some respect to his grandma. Good. But in this video, in a video I found online, Messi did that to appreciate God for all that God has given him in life. Yes, not just the talent, but all that God has placed around him. One of the reasons why you must appreciate yourself and the things God has placed around you is to value yourself and value everyone. What you don't appreciate, you will not value. And what you don't value, will depreciate. And what you depreciate loses value until it becomes nothing. So the first step to becoming a millionaire, to becoming that person you want to be, is to appreciate yourself. Appreciate the talents that are inside of you. You may have seen symptoms of those talents. You may have seen yourself doing one of two things very special that nobody does it the way you do it. You need to put them down and trust to improve on it. Now the second thing I'm going to talk about mercy is his discipline or practice. A lot of persons come to the notion that mercy doesn't work or it's all about the talent. When you compare him to someone else who is always in the gym, you think he doesn't work. But here's what Messi had to say some few years ago. Bueno, creo que un poco de lado, ¿no? Tuve la suerte de que de que yo me dio el talento y y después obviamente el trabajo, ¿no? Creo que que por más talento que tenga, si uno no tiene trabajo, es muy difícil de, de conseguir los objetivos que uno, que uno quiere, ¿no? Eh, creo que, que es más importante el trabajo. He said that hard work without talent is not enough. That if you have talent and you do not work hard, you are not going to achieve anything. And if Messi is right, you also must have seen various footballers who came up and were shining stars. People saw their potentials and they could not actualize what Messi was able to do over the years. Why? Can you ask yourself why? Some because of character, some because they were not disciplined enough, and some because of some other reasons. So you must take note to practice daily, to involve yourself in what you have seen or what you've called talent. The whole world is evolving. People are trying to be better. You cannot expect to just stand on your talent alone and improve. 
you will need to work on that talent to improve it to make it shine like a good the very first time you start practicing the very first time you start improving people say practice makes perfect whatever you want to be perfect need a lot of practice your talents are like raw materials that need to be worked on to become perfect the third thing i'm going to talk about mercy is his decision ¿Te preguntó? Sí, sí. ¿A siempre te dejaba la última sí. decisión? ¿Qué hacemos? Me dice. Eh, voy a tener la decisión, lo que vos quieras. ¿Qué hacemos? Yo, tengo, yo vuelvo allá y seguimos como, como estábamos y no Mirá pasó vos. nada. Y yo dije, no, no, yo me quiero quedar y, y estoy convencido, más allá de lo difícil que era, ya estaba acá y, y veía que la posibilidad era, era real. Ay. One thing I will have you to take from here. You decide what happened to you. You decide where you're going. You decide what you're going to be doing part time and per season. Messi had just that at the age of 13. He decided, I'm going to play football. I'm not going to lose that. I'm not going to go back to where I came from. I'm going to pursue my dream till I actualize it. And when Messi made that decision, he came up finally and he got his dream. He was at the age of 13 and the whole family moved to Barca or Barcelona with him. And when they came together, the rest of the family had to go back because the elder ones were in business, the younger one needed to go to school. And he was left with the father alone. And the father came to him and asked him, such, and he made his decision. One of the things you also learn to do is to make decision without following the crowd. Everybody is going to one direction. You have to make a decision. If that direction is what your heart, what your purpose is leading you into, you can go ahead into it. But if not, face the challenge of finding your purpose. Do not change your direction because of persons. I will leave you with this. A man who steals his client will have plenty of harvest, but a man who follow after vain people will have poverty enough. Change your position. Decide to take decisions that will make the course of your life better and better. Don't make decisions according to the temporal situation around you. Don't make decisions to make yourself comfortable. The homeland was a comfortable place for him to get back to but he decided as a young boy as a teenager to remain in Barcelona and today we hail him what is that decision you've refused to make as a young man and you've grown up to this stage make that decision today another part of mercy that I'm going to talk about is his selflessness selflessness and they're not explain that Someone who played football for about two decades, you go online to search Messi selfish games or selfish minutes. You'll find out that there's no single video on YouTube that points Messi to be selfish on the pitch. And I'm wondering how could you how could you do that and not have a selfish moment? You wonder why everybody who plays with Messi loves him. You wonder why his opponents also love him selflessness. ¿Y qué cosas hace ahora y no hacía antes? No, obviamente uno va creciendo y va va aprendiendo cosas dentro de cancha, como decía recién antes por ahí agarraba la pelota y ya hacía mi jugada o intentaba hacer mi mi jugada. Hoy hoy por ahí intento hacer jugar más al equipo, que pase más la pelota más por mí y no ser tan 
tan definidor o tan egoísta, entre comillas, de cerca del área, buscar siempre una mejor opción. De, intento de mover más el equipo de, de otro. De... In Messi's world of greatness, selflessness is prioritized. When one is selfish, only one is great. But when we are selfless, everyone is great. So you must learn to be selfless. There's a reason why the mammals don't give birth until they are at a particular age. The reason is this. Only selfless people can take care of another. So that the elderly one can understand what it means to take care, to, to encourage, to choose not to eat so that another can eat. You can hear that from Messi in this particular video here. And now let's proceed to passion. Many people have passion at the very beginning of their journey, but at the end or towards the end, they begin to lose passion. The reason is this, if you lose the glimpse or your sight from the goal and other things begin to come your way, you might lose passion. It could be challenges, it could be blessings, it could be favor, it could come your way and make you lose passion. As I first said, you are not in competition with anybody in the world with anything in the world. You are only in competition with what is hidden inside of you. That is to say, your talent, what God has made you. So your real you is what you are challenging. You are hoping, you are trusting to become the real you. That is where you become the best of the best of the best that you are and you're not competing with anybody passion never lose passion add passion to your game if you have lost passion in something that you know this is what you're supposed to be doing i bet you start practicing now and you will soon get back to where you are supposed to be and that is the last one for today thank you for joining us add these five things number one appreciation appreciate your talent two Practice, work on your talent. Thirdly, make decisions that affect where you want to be in the next few years. Fourth, be selfless. When you're selfless, you become humble, you are teachable, you can get to where you want to get to. The fifth one is to have passion. Congratulations as you are this and see the improvement that you're going to have in this your journey to be the best that you can be. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Meet you on another day. I'm humbled to do this, to talk about mercy. Thank you. Get into your mouth.